my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Sassy and Chic nail clocks from the Dollar Tree. I have quite a few, so I figured I would just show you guys my whole collection. And my son's actually playing, so if you hear noises, it's him playing in the background. And also, real quick, I just wanted to mention that I have 99 subscribers as of right now, so I'm on my way to 100, and I'm so excited. Um, I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed so far, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying my videos because I love making them. It's seriously so much fun. So without further ado, let's get started into my collection. I haven't really been collecting Sassy and Chic Nails, but every time I see a cute pair at the store, I just pick them up. So I guess it turned into a collection. So I just wanted to show you guys all the ones I have so far. So... I have these ones, they're like chevron, black and white, I love these ones, and I'm really thinking about just painting like an accent nail, because I don't know, kind of just to break up that pattern a little bit, so I love these. And then I have another black and white pair, it's just the black and white stripes, I'm actually not a huge fan of these ones, but I just figured I'd pick them up just because they were neutrals. And this collection probably took like... This collection is like a year's worth of Sassy and Chic Nails, so unfortunately you cannot get some of these patterns. You have so, these ones, they're like blue with like colored polka dots. I really, really love these ones. The golden white ones, which is beautiful. I love these. And some of them are just so pretty, I don't even want to wear them. All time favorite, the leopard nails. I still, I don't want to wear these just because I love them so much, so I have them hoarding in my room. So I have them hoarded in my room. Can you see my little nugget right there? <laughs> He's crazy. These ones with the leopard tips on them, they are so cute. Again, I don't want to wear these ones. Plus, sometimes I have a hard time wearing the ones that have like a neutral, um, like a neutral part that goes on your nail because sometimes you can see like the glue on there. So if any of you guys have any tips, please let me know. We have these zebra ones, which is really cute. Another black and white pair. Then we just have the French manicure, the classic one. Okay, these are, I say this about all of them, but this one is my absolute favorite, and I probably would never trade these ones. They're teal, well, like seafoam green with gold dots. I love these ones, and I'm saving these for some for a very special occasion. I just don't know what that is yet, but I love them. The tribal print, which is so cute because some of them are different, as you can see. And then last but not least, the houndstooth print, which is super cute. I don't wear these all the time. As you can see, I do paint my natural nails. I usually only wear these when I bite my nails off or all my nails all my nails are like jacked up and I just want my nails to look nice for a special occasion. So that's why I don't wear these all the time. But I just love to have like a stash of them so when I need them. And I use a Sassy and Chic nail glue um, that you can buy separate at the Dollar Tree. I should have included this in that video. But if you guys do want to see like how I apply these, please let me know because I will make a video on that. Just give this video a thumbs up so I know. And um... Yeah, that was everything in my Sassy and Cheek collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.